Hello and welcome to all you lovely viewers in today's episode of Youthfolio, our weekly magazine program which takes you on a visual trip across the eight mesmerizingly beautiful states of the Northeast. We'll start today's episode with coverage of Holi, the festival of colors in the Northeast and lots more. Let's get going. Holi celebrated with joyous zeal in the Northeast. Nagaland celebrates Sekrani festival. Women's Day celebrated across the Northeast with great enthusiasm. Film fraternity of Manipur protest against militants for closing halls. Northeast celebrated Holi with great zest and vigor. Some one could see people, both men and women of all communities coming out, bonding with each other, singing. Dolls and playing with colors on the streets. Priests and common people prayed to the gods for peace and harmony in the state and country. In Manipur, Holi takes a different dimension with celebrations spreading over five whole days. The first day of Yaosang sees many sports activities being organized wherein everyone from adults, youth, to little children taking part so as to highlight the positive effects of sports in providing entertainment and also keeping people healthy and on the right track away from evil influences. This year, the Yaosang sports continued from the 16th to the 20th of March. In the evening of the first day, straw huts are burnt, much like the Holika burning in other parts of the country. Children take part in nakatheng or begging from elders for rice, vegetables and money with the aim of organizing a grand community feast on day 3. Playing with colors takes place on the second day. Apart from the general public, the fervor and enthusiasm of Holi was seen even in the border outposts along the Indo-Bangla border in the northeast where Javans and officers of the Border Security Force pinkled myriad colors on each other, irrespective of rank or age, and enjoyed with full gusto, even as the tricolor fluttered proudly in the background. The Javans were unanimous in their declaration that they enjoyed this bonding with each other, irrespective of state or community, and did not miss their homes. होली तो बहुत घर में मनाया 18 19 साल लेकिन जो बीएसएम में होली मनाया ये होली सर जिंदगी भर याद रहेगी और कभी ऐसी होली हो भी नहीं सकती क्योंकि सर हम घर में तो एक दो भाई हैं यहां हमारे हजारों भाई हैं और इन भाइयों के साथ होली मना के हमें इतना अच्छा लग रहा है कि हमें घर की कोई कमी महसूस नहीं हो रही है सर इधर सर होली मनाने के लिए मजा और अलग है घर में तो एक दो बंदा रहता है इधर हमारा हिंदुस्तान का हर कोने कोने के बंदे इकट्ठा होके होली मनाने के मजे अलग ही लग रहा है सर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ नागा पीपल फ्लॉक टू द हेरिटेज विलेज इन किसामा टू वेलकम विजिटिंग थाई प्रिंसेस महाचक्री सिरिंधर्न हु हैड फ्लोन इन टू नागालैंड टू विटनेस द गाला सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ द स्टेट सेक्रनी फेस्टिवल which is the premier festival of the Angami tribe of the state. The princess was welcomed in Naga traditional style with presentation of Naga jewelry and shawl and loud yodeling. Celebrated with the motto of fostering unity and oneness among the Nagas, 
Sekrani is a post-harvest festival which sees inter-village visits by the Nagas, sitting together of various tribes to sing traditional songs, feasting and dancing. Kisama village function too, a whole lineup of singing and dancing were presented, which the entire thousands of visitors enjoyed together, irrespective of their tribe. <laughs> Joyous celebrations of the many festivals of the state have given Nagaland the nomenclature of Land of Festivals. These festivals are also a great occasion of bringing people of different tribes together and strengthening brotherhood and harmony. Women's Day was celebrated in Arunachal Pradesh with a flurry of colourful dances and women of different tribes joyfully bonding with each other on the occasion. The women of Arunachal Pradesh, like their counterparts from other parts of the region, command much respect and equal status in society, with many being in the forefront in various spheres, like writer Padma Shri Mamangdai, who is a member of Arunachal Pradesh State Public Service Commission. Speaking on the occasion, she said that framing of more laws does not mean less crimes against women. She stressed upon the need to include women in policy-making process. Chairperson of Arunachal Pradesh State Commission for Women, Gumri Ringu, in her address said that gender equality does not mean fight against men, but fight against negative attitude that are ingrained in the society. The day witnessed many other eminent speakers talking on important issues and presentation of songs by the Hiri Moro Society. <laughs> The Doimuk Mahila Party presented a skit on domestic violence which gave out a strong message to women to protest against injustice. Women empowerment tabhi bolenge. We are truly empowered when we are at par with men in accessing opportunities of education, job, everything. And when we compete with men for our rights. That is true sense of empowerment and that is equality for all. Equality for women is the real progress. In Nagaland too, Women's Day witnessed gala celebrations with Governor Sri Ashwini Kumar as chief guest. Women entrepreneurs put up stalls selling a wide variety of products from pickles to dry flowers, jewelry, silkworms, decoratives, etc., all made by the hard-working women of the state who play a huge role here to contribute to the family and state's economy. Many melodious singers of the state performed on the occasion.
Traditionally, in Naga society, as in most societies, the household of household activities are all regarded to be gen, to be seen in the gender domain of the woman, and there is the tendency to demean the role of housewife, which is normally the woman in the house. Housewifing is the most difficult task, and the housewife is not just the one who bears the children, nurtures and looks after them, or cooks for the family. The housewife is a management specialist. She is a financial manager, a planner, the food nutrition specialist, the accountant, the cashier, the doctor, the teacher, the cleaner, the diplomat, the mediator, the negotiator, the peacemaker. Most valuable, she is the most valuable person in the home. And if her value was to be assessed in monetary terms, I'm very sure most families will not be able to afford her.